us to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at the November 2022 science paper 2. So this is the 12th episode uh, in this uh, series of episodes where we focus on this paper extensively. So if you haven't uh, seen the first 11 episodes, please check on our YouTube channel. Question B8 leads three gases A, B, and C have properties shown in the table. So we have gas A, B, C, then of density, then solubility in water of the gas, then we have appearance. Some apparatus used to collect gases are shown in the following diagrams. Then we have question A, which apparatus X, Y, or Z is most suitable to collect gas? We have A, B. If you watched uh, the fourth episode in this uh, series of episodes, which looked at question 16 through question 20, you notice that uh, when you're answering question 17, we spend a lot of time explaining in details uh, the collection methods of gases. So if you haven't seen that episode, please check out on our YouTube channel. So what you notice here, this one, you use it uh, to collect in uh, those gases that are less denser. And this method is known as the upward uh, delivery method. Or downward displacement method. Okay. Then this one is known as uh, the downward delivery or upward upward displacement method so what is happening here is here you are displacing the hair upward so the hair is going up such that this denser uh, gas is coming down in this case the reason why we are calling it downward displacement is the less denser gas is entering and in uh, taking up the upper part, then the denser hair is coming down here, taking up the downward uh, place. That's why it's called it like that. Then this one, you use it uh, for insoluble gases. So use it for insoluble gases. So again, this one is downward displacement of what? Water. So this one is now downward displacement of water okay so now because a is more denser than hair and is soluble in water so we can use x because we cannot use z because it will uh, form a solution in water so x is for a which is denser and soluble then b is the one which is less denser which is y this is b then uh, we have more denser than air, insoluble in water. So insoluble in water, we can use uh, this one because it's insoluble in water. Of course, it will be um, less denser than water, so it will rise up because it cannot uh, form a solution in water. Then it will come and sit somewhere there. So we notice that uh, for air, it's in X. Then for B, it's in Y. So we go here and D answer here so for a is x then for b is y then question b gas c can be collected using a parameter z state y z is more suitable than a parameter y to collect gas c so y is for the gases that are less denser than hair but you notice that a C is denser than air, so we cannot use this one. Then, because C is denser than air, we cannot use Y. Then, second dream, Z is in the best because C is insoluble in water. So Z is the best 
because gas C is is insoluble in water. That's in the, the reason. So it's in the density and solubility of that particular gas. That's what you need to think around. Then a Roman numeratum state y apparatum y is more suitable than apparatus z to collect b. So again what y is y more suitable? So for y is more suitable to collect b because b is less denser than here. So y is best because gas b is less denser than here and it can be collected by upward delivery then Gas B is soluble in water and Z cannot be used because it would do instead form a solution. So these are the reasoning. Question C suggest a name of a gas that would be collected using apparator X. So if you look at apparator X, so apparator X is for those are gases that are denser than common hair. That's uh, what you use. So what are those gases that are denser than hair? We have a uh, carbon dioxide, we have sulfur dioxide, we have hydrochloric gas, then we have um oxygen then you have uh, chlorine these are gases that are denser than hair so any of those gases can be collected using x so for x is in those gases that are denser than air so we have carbon dioxide one then we have uh, sulfur dioxide two then we have hydrochloric uh, gas then we have uh, oxygen we have uh, chlorine gas like him these can be collected using x then the one that can be collected using y uh, we have hydrogen which is less den denser than here then we have uh, ammonia then we have uh, methane then we also have a uh, carbon monoxide all these can be collected in by y because they are less denser than in air so you can choose n of these then uh, what else can be collected by the case of z so for z we are looking for those that are insoluble in water like hydrogen then also you have a uh, methane so you can come here and list n of the one that i've given you depending on him, whichever comes to your mind uh, first so what is important here is um, taking note of um, the density so the one that are denser than uh, here we have uh, hydrogen chloride gas then you have a uh, carbon dioxide then you have a uh, sulfur dioxide so you can just choose n like that so the method that you are going to use you are using the um, downward delivery downward delivery method that's in the one that i use because it has to be denser than here so basically this is how you answer this equation to get the five marks so i could have taken a bit longer because i wanted to give you more details so that you are geared to as any exam on a collection of different kind of gases thank you for joining me on this episode please join me in the next episode as i look at question b9 
the last question in this uh, section.